I'm Jason with LNF Services, and today we got an issue with a bad compressor. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you how to diagnose a bad compressor if maybe you just got your EPA license and you're pretty new in the field, or just had a couple of questions about how to get there. Maybe this had been a long time since you've done one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and remove power, and then you're going to have to get the unit apart. A very common indicator that you may have a bad compressor is a complaint that every time you try to run the air conditioning system or the heat, the breaker immediately trips. Now, there are a lot of things that can cause a breaker to go, but certainly a, a compressor is a good place to start. So with power off, you're going to want to peel away the connector to the compressor and get out your meter. You're going to want to set your meter to ohms, and you're going to want to test out each of the three leads to a ground source. A really good place to check at the ground is a copper line within the system. If that compressor is shorted anywhere in the system to a ground, it is going to blow the breaker every time. The next thing you're going to want to do is to check and see if you have an open winding anywhere. Now an open winding is not necessarily going to cause a breaker trip, but since we're here, it is a good time to go ahead and check it. In this case, instead of metering to a source of ground, what you're going to want to do is meter between each of the three prongs. All of them should have some level of resistance. They should all be fairly low, although they're not going to be the same. If any of them are open, the compressor is most likely bad, unless the compressor is warm to the touch. If the compressor is warm to the touch, you're going to need to let that compressor cool off, usually either overnight or by running a water hose on it for maybe 30 or 40 minutes. Basically, the compressor has a thermal overload circuit, and if it becomes too hot inside of the compressor, that circuit opens, and when that circuit opens, it will give you the exact same symptom as, say, a, you know, a wire that's burned into inside of the compressor. But that limit switch will reset as the compressor cools. The last thing you're going to want to check on the compressor, and this one absolutely will blow your circuit breaker, is to see if the compressor is simply locked up. You know, a compressor is just a motor on the inside and that motor can become seized up and bound simply due to just, you know, maybe it overheated a few times or just the age of the system. But if that motor will not turn on the inside, it is just gonna draw amperage until the amperage exceeds the limitation of the breaker and you're gonna get a trip breaker. And in fact, that's exactly what we have with this system. Now sometimes you can break those loose with something like a hard start kit, but if a hard start kit fails to do it, these compressors are non-serviceable and that is gonna be a bad compressor. 